Hi friends, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize a pre-made digital planner. This one right here is a 2024 finance planner, which you can download on our hub page. Uh, let me quickly show you if you now go to the hub page or to the search for planner page, you should be able to type in finance planner. So they're right here, finance digital planner and they should appear here or you should also find them here on the help page and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take any pre-made digital planner that is hyperlinked um, one with 50, 70 or over 100 pages and then how you can customize it such as changing colors, font styling to make it fit your own branding if you're a seller or to fit your own personal style. So let me take this finance planner as an example for this tutorial. Once you open up a digital planner, what you can do is you can further change the background. So go to layout, digital planner, and then here you have a long list of different types of backgrounds you can apply. So we have dusty rosewood, we have brownish colors, emerald forest, ironstone, lavender, uh, many different kinds of colors you can apply. Uh, I will take the lavender color for this tutorial. And then besides this background, you can also choose a new font for the tabs right here. So go to font and then regular or script and then you can choose a new font. Uh, I think I will stick to this font right here. Maybe make it a tiny bit smaller like this. If you feel like just changing the background and the fonts of the tabs is enough and you want to now apply this change to all the other pages, what you can do is go back to the page you have just changed, this one right here, and then you can go to apply style to pages and then you can select margins and then also the digital player tabs and background. So have these two selected. The reason why you want to select margins is so that it doesn't change the margins and paddings on the sides of the digital planner. So have these two selected and then you can click on apply style to pages and it will now change on every single page the background to the lavender background I've just applied before and it will also change the fonts as well. So let's wait a few seconds until it has run through each page. Okay, it now has completed. So let's check page four. Looks fine. Seven. Let's check out page 18, 25, 31, 33, 40. And you see that on every single page it has changed the background, the digital planner background, and as well as the fonts. Now, besides just changing the backgrounds and the tabs, you can also change the internals of the planner, such as changing the fonts. Uh, to change the fonts, go to text, and then you will have the H1, H2, and H3 font. H1 font would be the header up here. The H2 font would be the header of every widget, for example, January 2024 or the word housing amount paid. So um, the top headers of every widget. And then the H3 font is everything that is written in the widgets, such as rent, insurance, taxes, total. So whenever anything is written within the widget, that would be the H3 font. Something I just realized, which is a bug we need to fix, is that when you run through the pages, such as selecting these two options, it somehow resets the sizing of the H3 font. Um, you can quickly fix this, I'll show you how, but I just wanted to mention to you that if it changes on your end as well, if the fonts get bigger, um, don't be concerned, I have a fix for that one as well. Let's quickly jump back to the fonts. You can change the H1 font up here. Select H1, both pages, the main font right here. Then here you can choose between the script and regular font. So choose a new font. And then once you're happy with the font, you can also make it bigger or smaller. Next go to the H2 font. 
and then here you can choose a new h2 font as well i'll go with uh, maybe this one and have it a bit smaller and then next you can choose a new h3 font i'll go with this one here make it a bit smaller or maybe i'll stick to a normal regular font this one right here make it smaller like this okay so this would be how to change the fonts and then next you can also change the colors and styling so go to style and then here you can choose a new styling you can have it uh, rounded you can have it um, the widgets in a box like this or this you can have it uh, in a classic style with bold lines minimal like this um, but for this tutorial, I think I will go with the with the jovial thin style. I think this styling looks nice. And then you can also change the colors by going to color. And these are the main colors which will apply throughout the planner. So if you change the outline up here, the outline color up here, it will change the outline color of all the widgets. I'll leave it at... Maybe I'll make it gray like this and then the header color here this will change the colors of all headers and I think I will go with maybe a light lavender by the way this color selector here with the pencils and the color dropper um, every single browser has a different kind of color picker so to get this one I have right here, you would need to be on Firefox and you would also need to be on a MacBook or Apple device to get this exact color picker. So here now I have selected an outline, header color and line color. And I think I would like to make the fonts a tiny bit smaller. So I'll go back to text H2 and make the header text smaller. And I think I also would like to make DH3 font smaller as well, like this. So now I've shown you how to change DH1 font, the header fonts of the widgets and the internal text of each widget. Um, you now also know how to change the styling of the widget and how to change the colors. So once you're happy how it's looking on your end, to then apply this styling to all the other pages, what you would do is you would go back to apply style to pages and then have font size selected. Um, by selecting font size, you make sure that it's applying the current font size you have selected now to all the other pages. So have font size selected, font family, margins, colors, styling, and if you want, you can also select um, the digital planner background, but this one, but we are not changing that one, so you don't need to select it. If you have it selected, then it doesn't matter much. Okay. Um, have the following selected. If you have a pattern applied, you can also select pattern and background type. So for example, if you want to apply a pattern to your planner, such as um, this one right here, maybe hearts, and you want to apply this pattern to all the other pages, then you would of course also select pattern and background type. Font family, font size, color, margin, and styling. But in this video, I'm not going to apply a pattern to the background. So I will only select font family, font size, color margin and styling okay once everything's selected you can click on apply style to pages and let it apply everything to all the other pages okay so it has finished running through the pages and applying the styling colors and fonts so let's quickly check how each page looks like the finance goals page looks fine Step payment, savings, bill tracker. Let's check page 43. Looks like it has applied the changes to every page. 
So as I mentioned, if you further want to customize it, then you can repeat the steps, change colors, change font text, and then click on apply style to pages button and then select um, the attributes you want to apply to all the other pages, such as font family, font size, background color, styling, and so on. If you choose to apply a background like this, and you want to apply to all the other pages, just back to apply style to pages, have pattern and background selected, and then margin as well, and then click on apply style to pages, and let it run to each page, and then also apply the pattern for you. So once you're happy with your planner, what you can do next is go to save export, and then digital, and then double page, have the following menu selected, and then click on batch generate PDF. It has finished generating the PDF. Let's click to download PDF and let's see how it looks like. This is how the planner looks like. Let's compare it to the original right here. This is how the original looks like. And then this is how ours now looks like. And I quickly wanted to show you the index page. Um, if you want to further customize this page here, go back to the index page. And then here to customize this text right here, most likely it's a sticker. So go to sticker, click on it, and then you can up here, select a new font, maybe make it bigger. And then to customize this one, this text here, do the same thing, go to regular, and then you can choose a new font. And then to customize the text within the widgets, go back to Planner, go to a Text, H3. And then here you can maybe increase the sizing of the font or you can just choose a new font for this page like this. If you want, you can also click on the widgets and then pull up this text editor. And then here you can also choose to apply a background color if you want to. And you can also maybe retype the text and extend it from Jan to January like this. But once you're happy with how it looks like, maybe you also want to apply a pattern here to the background like this to make it prettier for the index page. Once you are happy, then just go back to export PDF, double page, and then re-export again. Or you can go to save, give it a name, save the planner to your collection by clicking on duplicate and make a copy, and then save it to your collection or just export it like this. So let me quickly show you, this is how the improved version looks like. You see, this is how the new index page looks like and then the rest is still the same. So this is how to customize a pre-made planner on Planify Pro. After you customize it, you can also further sell it in your shop if you are subscribed to the business plan, meaning feel free to sell it as the original is. But if you want, you can also apply changes, customize it like I just showed you before and then feel free to export it, edit your shop, and then sell it online. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!